Oh, hello? Oh, is this brew? Oh, I was I was wondering if I could talk to all the New Orleans beers in the house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're busy. They're busy right now. They're out at they're out at the parade route. Okay. In the neutral ground. Okay. I'll go they got a picnic table and some beer. Okay. And some king cake. Okay. I'll be right there, play What's going on everybody? It's Chip Walton of Chop and Brew. Welcome to the basement. I'm here to do a quick preview of a quick kind of mini series that really just came together in the last week or two. As y'all know, I'm from Mobile, Alabama, now living in St. Paul, Minnesota, but Mardi Gras, Gulf Coast vibes is still really close to my heart. Elsa and I try to do as much as we can during Mardi Gras and carnival season uh, up here in the frozen tundra to live it up as if we were down south. And this year, y'all, I've got a really cool mini series of videos starting with a homebrew that I did. It'll be a brew day video. I brewed this last year, li literally about a year ago, I realized looking at the footage. Ooh, cake. Watch your hands. Ooh, cake beer. When Jonas was just a little baby, a little teeny weeny, king cake pastry ale. It is a beer with little mini king cakes in the actual mash, all kinds of fun things, orange peel, cashmere hops. This bad memo, gem shit, nope. Me burning myself with a half kettle full of wort. Uh, a lot of caffeinated. I was, ca I drink decaf these days, but uh, on that day I was well caffeinated on some Cafe du Monde uh, in honor of the occasion. So you're going to see that brew day. You got to love the commitment to the holiday to have green, purple, and gold four pack toppers for your Mardi Gras beers. I respect that. Recently, I've been put in touch with Mitch Gritman, who is the brewer at Zoni Mash Beer Project in New Orleans. And you might remember last year, I did a three minute beer review on their Mystic Brew of Mardi Gras because my coworker, Abby, brought me some back from New Orleans. Well, this year, I got it straight from the source. Mitch sent me not only a four pack of this beer, which is basically an imperial fruited sour inspired by the hurricane cocktail, passion fruit, cherry, lemon peel, tangerine, lactose, sour, 8%. We're going to hear all about this beer from Mitch, but y'all, this is how it all started. I, I contacted the brewery and asked if there was any chance in heck they'd send me some of this as a good old Southern boy now trapped up North. And they sent, uh, Mitch sent me the King Cake Imperial Stout, vanilla, almond, cinnamon, lactose, 10.5%. We're gonna hear about this. I don't know if King Cakes went into the actual mash or if it's just kind of inspired by the flavors, but we're gonna figure that out. And then to round out the Mardi Gras trifecta, Mitt sent Zoni Pop, y'all. This is a spiked seltzer, also in the spirit of a hurricane. It just says on the back, cane sugar, pure fruit essence, 4.5%. So we're gonna learn about those three beers from the source. Well, I went on down to the Audubon Zoo and they all asked for brew. They all asked for brew. Yeah, they even inquired about brew. And then something very unique. So Elsa got me this book as a Mardi Gras present this year. Uh, the Big Book of King Cake. It is so cool. Author Matt Haynes goes through dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, New Orleans and, and Louisiana bakeries from the oldest of the old school, the multi-generations, to the newest of the new school. And I got Matt Haynes to commit some of his time during this vi busy carnival season. So I'm going to get to talk to Matt. Super excited about this. King Cakes are something I look forward to every year. Um, we're going to talk about his journey of eating 80-ish king cakes in a season to write this rad coffee table book. And I'm going to pick his brain about some of the great debates of king cakes. Gambino's Bakery right here, y'all. I actually just got two king cakes from them today from New Orleans. Two-day express to the Chop and Brew HQ. We got the traditional and we got the praline cream cheese. So I've never ordered a cake in order to have it on standby for an interview, but when I'm talking to Matt, I'm gonna be eating some of that Nola cake, y'all. Uh, so homebrew, 
Zoni Mash, Big Book of King Cake. There was a fourth one. Oh, yeah, last year I also did a three-minute beer review that I actually never released on Oscar Blues's Death by King Cake beer, which, excluding the, the beers I have yet to have, is the best um, tribute to a king cake I've ever had. So that'll be coming up. An awesome Mardi Gras mini-series of Chop and Brew coming up. So I just want you all to know to look forward to that. Keep yourself posted on the socials and the YouTube. Like and subscribe on the YouTube. Hit that bell for all notifications on the YouTube. And we are going to dig into it, y'all. Woo! Happy Mardi Gras. Let the good times roll.